Hello everyone, this is Hanbon Kim from Good Task. On this video, I'll explain smart lists. As you can see, lists are shown on this initial page. There are two types of lists. One is reminders lists, which is the main data source that's derived from reminders app. Another is smart list, which sets filters to smartly gather tasks from all reminders lists. You can set up groups and spaces to organize lists. Lists under a group can be hidden and shown by tapping it. When you add a new smart list, you can pick one from recommendations list. There are various lists that you can choose from, so it would be a good start if you're new. You can set title of a list, choose icon, and color. Sort options can be set per list. Lists and calendars can be selected per list too. Undated task option lets you pick views you want to see tasks without due date. You can selectively see it on list view only or additionally on day, week, and month views. Default view is the view that will be automatically selected when you go into a list. If it's not set, it'll keep previously selected view. Task display option is how tasks are shown in, on that list. You can make it inside settings, appearances, and select one for that list. And there are filters. You can have multiple filters and make combination of your needs. Types are undated, scheduled, recurring, location, recent, alert, tag, priorities, subtasks, and completed. Let's check it out one by one. Undated type shows tasks without due date. Schedule type has six options. Showing all scheduled tasks, showing tasks for today, showing tasks for tomorrow, showing tasks within n days, within n weeks, and overdue. If you choose within one day, it'll show you all overdue tasks and today's tasks. Invert option will show all the other tasks excluding current filter. Count option will cut the exceeding tasks from that number. Due date option is shown when you choose start date. Checking this option will show tasks that's due on selected date only and not the ones that has started but not due. Time can be set on today and tomorrow option to check the tasks on that time range. It's a good option to separate tasks on morning, afternoon, and evening if you have a lot of things going on. You can selectively hide no time tasks, later tasks, and unstarted tasks on today option. Recurring type will show you all the tasks that have recurrence options set. Location type will show you tasks with location-based alerts. You can select favorite locations to only filter on that location. Recent type will fetch tasks that's been recently created. Alert type will show you tasks that has time-based alerts. Tag type will show you tasks with the tag you've typed in. Priorities type will show you tasks with priorities you've selected. Subtasks type will show you tasks that have subtasks. Completed type will show you completed tasks. You can select completion day from all, today, yesterday, this week, last week, this month, last month, and custom and days. If you have multiple filters set, it'll be calculated with AND or OR operations. Two filters will be calculated in order as set on order of operations. AND will keep the task that satisfies both filters. OR operation will keep all the tasks from both filters. You can make all kinds of lists with this powerful feature. Okay, this is it for today. Hope it helped. Get it done with good task. Thanks.